So I get an email from Fireforge Miniatures, and they say, Hey, we like how you're honest and all that other stuff. We want to see some beta models and review them. I told them, hell yeah, send me your models. See, I love any company that has the brass stones, ovaries, whatever have you, to send me models on their own for review. You see... A few other companies have tried to send me their models, but they seem perturbed that I wouldn't guarantee a good review, and that's just not what I'm about. You give me models, I will review them to the truest bit of my ability. And due to the fact that Fireforge had the stones, the brass balls, the steel ovaries to send me models to review, they have my respect. They really do. Them and Last Sword both have my respect for having the gumption to send me models for review. And this is what I got. I got some of their Varangian... Uh, Varangian... Something. I remember it was Varangian. There was one of the, uh, the uh, Kickstarter models they got. And as you can see, I mean, th these are obviously resin test prints, but they look pretty darn good. Um, as you can see, they have a different, well, they're flexible, and they have a different chainmail pattern than, say, Perry or Victrix. You see, to me, Victrix was leading the game when it came to armor, but Fireforge may have upset the game as far as I'm concerned. They have, a, they have an actual Varangian look to them. They're, 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 or Varangian, 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 however you want to say it. They definitely have to look. And they look really well done. These are just beta models. And I do have a bit of uh, wants and desires that come from them. But out of the bat, I was quite surprised by how deep and rigid those that the, the, the ring mail was. I'm not sure if it's ring mail or chain mail. But these come with... Um, scale plate and ring mail as far as I can tell and they looked extremely accurate they looked extremely good this is uh, I was not impressed by the earlier fire force models that I bought I thought they looked weird the earlier fire force models the proportions were off you can see the earlier videos where I compare them but these these models may have just changed the game when it comes to Fireforge miniatures. I was quite surprised. You could say I was pleased as punch when I saw these things because I was expecting the old, the usual Fireforge miniatures. They're a bit squat. They're a bit weird looking. But these, these look proper human proportions. I would say accurate historical human proportions. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if you look at them, you, they have, like, dangly leather lapels on the bottom of the armor. These felt a little greasy because they're, they're resin prints, but, you know, the helmets look good, the chainmail look good. I like the fact they added depth with the boots by adding the leather wraps or cloth wraps. I like that. I like having depth to a model. And the indention for the legs there, in between the uh, the uh, lower part of the tunic, it adds depth. And I was quite pleased. Additionally, the leather belt and the leather straps running across, or the slings, or whatever you want to call them, they're modeled better than Perry's. I will say they're definitely modeled better than Perry's, but they're still on par with the Victrix. And I'm just going to let you guys watch the video for a bit. Feel free to fast forward if you so wish or pause. Uh, I have more footage than I do of stuff I can talk about. I'll say that much. But yeah, the scale mail looked really, really good. It's, that's pretty top notch, pretty top notch scale. These only had um, double handed axes, which is a, a huge Varangian thing. I would like to see more, you know, uh, variety in their weapons, perhaps, besides spears. They, they gave me spears with these. I'm not the biggest fan of spears. I think they're boring, but that's just me. Everyone and their mother has a spear unit. And as you can see here, this is a Vitrix model. And if you look at them, they're different. Sub they're subtly different. Vitrix looks a bit more squat than the Fireforge models. When having them side by side, the Fireforge models look 
more accurately human than the Victrix models. And I thought the Victrix models were by far the best on the market in terms of the ring mail and the chain mail and accessories and the, and, and the scale. But I don't know. These Varangians held side by side. One looks more humanly proportionate and better looking than the other. I was quite taken aback and quite surprised. Um, I was expecting that. Got a bit of wine here. Um, I spent most of the day um, painting and modeling and such. Had a catfish fry. It's a good time. But I thought I thought maybe it was the color, so I pull out a prime Victrix model, and and no, I mean they they look different. I mean you can see they look different, despite being roughly the same height, roughly the same height. You see this this maybe a bit shorter due to the, the platform that the Victrix model sitting on. The Vi the Fireforge models look better proportioned. I think they look. Even more human. Well, the Vitrix models, you can tell it's a human. It's obviously a human Viking. You, you can see that. But the Victri but the Fireforge models looked more accurate. And I'm not really sure how to put that in words. Because, and here's them both on, on a base. So I thought, well, what about in correlation to, you know, another an, another heroic scale miniatures? I pulled out one of Neckbeardia's uh, models he sent me, the, 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 the vampire, and I don't know. It seems to be, to me, more in scale to this vampire chick. Obviously, she's, she's a little more uh, voluptuous than <laughs> the Varangian, but you can see what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the proportions. Because that model, like, dwarfs a Vitrix model, but it looks in line with the Fireforge models. And then I pull out a Raging Heroes model. I think it's the Angel coming up. And I hold that side by side. And it's be eventually here. And then you see that, again, these are more in line to the scale of Raging Heroes and more accurately proportioned human models because you put that angel next to a vitrix model or a peri model and it's going to look vastly different but they look more in line to the fireforge models and fireforge wasn't always this way fireforge had squatter more goofy looking models like i had a big pack of their their men at arms and the men at arms looked weird i think it was one of their very 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 early box sets they came out with Another Raging Hero model, this one's a Dark Elf. But you can see how it's more in line with a more... Well, more like more like a less heroic proportion in comparison to the other models. And I'm not sure what they changed. I think they just changed their modeling process. Maybe maybe they went to a, a like a, a digital modeling program. I'm pretty sure because sure they I've seen their Facebook page. They have the, the modeling program. I'm sure... They can answer this question on their own. And this is in comparison to a heroic scale Mears model, and the, the difference is, is astronomical. I mean, look at it. That, that, that's a, a metal Mears model, and Mears has very tight proportions. And, I mean, look at it. And just look at the differences. It's right there in front of your face. And it was right there in front of mine, too. I mean, it's really hard to ignore. And they also sent me, like, this Kingly figure. And the Kingly figure is pretty damn Gucci. I would like to see the same kind of, um, you know, uh, accessorizing for the rest of the models. Because this is very clearly a, a, a leadership model. It's got, you know, a flanged mace. I like the fact they had a flanged mace here. That's properly proportioned. And if you look at the face, this is a very... Very well done face. All of the faces that are exposed out of the, uh, out of the helmets are extremely fine. They're Victrix fine. They're Raging Heroes fine. And Fireforge may be bringing it back out hot in a hurry in comparison to the others. Because this, 
I was not expecting this from Fire Forge. I really wasn't. It's not a dig on them. I simply had an expectation due to their past models of what they're going to look like. And this is not what I was suspecting. So, um, I begin the process of painting up a few I'd primed up earlier, as you can see. And painting them up, I mean... They tank to the, they, they, they take to the paint extremely well. Um, I found that even when fully put together, and this is simply him holding the axe, there are shields that go with them if you put them on the back or what have you. But having the two both arms on and the weapon arm and then the weapons on as well, I mean, I found them really easy to get around the model. And the model took to the paint in an extremely uh, gratifying way. Some models, I swear, they will fight the paint. Um, and I'm not sure why they do that. A lot of Games Workshop models will fight the paint. And I do not like painting them. But this, I mean, it was it was a joy to paint. Um, the old Fire Forge models, I didn't find fun to paint. I found them laborious to paint. They weren't engaging. They were very, very blah. These were fun to paint. And... Yeah, I really I, I found myself quite quite surprised that I was enjoying the process. Um, while we're here, um, I guess I'll speak on a few things. Um, they need a lot more accessories. I, I'm going to assume because these are just a beta models, just a beta models. I get that, but despite the fact the model is solid, they really do need a bit of. Uh, customization stuff going on here. You need some packs or some pouches or satchels or something. Something to break up the mediocrity. And I'd like to see a lot more weapons on these. The axe is fine. We don't need spears. We have plenty of spears. In, I mean, I have a whole stack of sprues down here that are covered in spears. We're good on spears. We need anything else. Some kind of variety. Something that's going to... Because because Fireforge, you know, you guys have a solid, this is a solid, solid model that was really surprising. But we need something else. We, 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 we need like out of the box halberds, out of the box billmen, out of the box, you know, like something different. And I think these guys can happily bring that to the table. Not a huge change, but if I if we can get even a smidgen of variety out of these models, I mean, it will just these can probably disrupt the market in my opinion. If you guys can keep on this kind of scale, this kind of accuracy, and this kind of modeling, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Uh I kind of I I I liked your undead. I liked your uh your your your, your, your the Westman Kickstarter I had. Those those are fine. But they didn't really wow me. The undead were really nice, uh, but the humans, the, the the living humans, didn't really wow me. I found them, you know, they're, they're kind of a, a standard jerkin kind of uh, infantry. But these these were different. They felt different. The the armor felt better. The armor looked better. The um, the faces were great. The beers on these models soak up paint in a beautiful way in in a way with a white with a white um base color highlight of themselves because they're they're modeled to where they can do that and it would take very very little to make this an s level model like right now these are solid a's these are solid solid a models like these if they're priced right and you get, say you get like 30 or 40 per box and they're priced right, these are sell so easily because they're good looking. They look correct. They look like an actual human, not like a fantasy human or a model of a human. These look like, these look like humans. I suppose that's why, well, that's due to the uh, modeling process you guys used. But, you know, first of all, good on you. For being brave enough to send me these models. Everyone here knows, Norma, that I can be an absolute asshole with models. If it's bad, I'm going to tell you they're bad. These in plastic will probably be better. Because I, I had to go and do a few hot water treatments, get the axes straight. I found a bit of a pain in the ass. But they're beta models. I'll, I'll give you that. They're in resin. But 
if you guys can add a little more accessorizing to these models, some a few extra bits we can play around with, these are going to crush the competition. These Varangians, these can be used for Viking models, no problem, I reckon. And these, I, I, I like Victrix. I really do. I do like Victrix, but these will blow Victrix out of the water because they simply look better. The armor looked better painted. The cloth responded better to the paint. They they inked up beautifully. Uh, I left the skin white, did a brown wash, and it looked fantastic. You know, they really did. But, so, I, I gotta say, uh, Fireforge, you know, well, well done. You guys did an excellent job on these models. I was surprised. I was not expecting this. I really wasn't. Your past models left me with a view of you, and you guys have smashed it, really. I mean, I was not expecting this at all. Um, I was expecting your old models. I really was. And these are a drastic, drastic and explosive change from the models I've gotten from you in the past. These even beat the Kickstarter models for the Undead and the uh, the, the, the Northmen. These, these, these crush them. These are accurate. I mean, look at those proportions. Those proportions look like a human. Like how a human should look at the scale. And a lot of companies have tried to do that and failed. They paint, I mean, this is a super quick paint job. This is not a professional paint job. This is a super quick chuk, 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 paint job. And they painted up fast. These things painted up fast and good. If you even have a mediocrum, metacrum, whatever the word is, of paint skill, these are going to look good for you on the table at just tabletop standard. No problems whatsoever. The only thing... Yeah, I mean, I... I don't know what the, I don't know what else to say. The only thing I would like more maybe is, um, you know, more weapon variety. That'd be great. Um, maybe some some sacks and satchels or or like loot bags that can help dress up the model. I mean, that's really about it. Um, this is a a a fantastic base model, and and, and this is a beta model. I mean, I dare I say I'm excited to see what they come out with next. Uh. I don't. I, I don't like. I don't like being a hype man. But I don't know if if they can give us a little more wiggle room on weapons and accessories. These guys are going to crush it. Um, and if they can, and if Fireforge, if you can keep up this kind of work like this, you're going to crush the market. Absolutely, they're going to have no idea what hit them. They're really not. Um, but of course, these are just Varangians. Um, they have their past lines. I mean, I, I, I know you guys are invested. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a dummy. I know how it works. I know you're invested in, in, in the old prints, like the old Crusader prints. But here's the thing, Fireforge. You're releasing these. And if folks buy these in an, an older set, hold them side by side, they're going to be disappointed with the old models because these are so much better than your old models. I would It would behoove you in the future to redo your old lines because these are better sculpts than your old lines. And a lot of companies fall into the trap of trying to keep their, 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 their old models. I and mean, Fireforge, for love of God, don't do what Games Workshop does, all right? They have the same sculpts from the Empire Troopers from like 2005 or so, or some damn thing. One guy is not wearing shoes, and one is cross-eyed and two look inbred. Do me a favor, th at least think about updating your old sculpts, especially the Crusaders, and try and get if you can get them like this. Ugh, you guys are gonna, you know, you're a definite hard competition. Keep in mind, though, Fireforge, that. Last Sword Ventures is coming up on you. They are chasing you, or you both are running side by side, one or the other, but you guys are got some stiff competition. But with these models and this modeling process you guys are using, I think you guys can keep your place in the pack. 
because these are these pff, these fucking just dip these, these models dip their nuts on games workshops all right look at that fucking puddle Ugh, that, that normal little puddle look at that not how they got there but these models you guys are are teabagging games workshop right now and i love it because these models blow theirs out of the water and somehow you have bettered or or or, or, or like kind of like uh lurched past Victrix and Victrix does a damn good job with their models and in my opinion Victrix was beating you for historicals but now now I think you guys are back in the race if you guys can keep up work like this and if your final models are at this consistency and, and I mean you guys are going to crush it you guys are going to crush it but don't I know I'm being nice to you because these are good models, but don't rest on your don't rest on 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 guard bros review laurels. Keep it tight, keep it right. Give us a little bit of accessories. Not I'm not asking for much. Just maybe a, a backpack or some or some pouches, a scabbard, uh, a belt axe, something to help dress them up. And you guys are gonna crush it with these Varangian models. And for the first time in, 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 a, in a few, in a, in a long time, in a, in a lot of months, I'm kind of looking forward to what you guys are going to put out next. Because if you guys can keep up this kind of, you know, scaling and proportion and this kind of armor, I mean, this is great, great armor. I wish I would painted up one of the scale mail ones, but if you guys can keep this up, I don't know, you guys will probably be back in the game in a big way. You can probably nudge at least kind of shoulder bump Victrix and you guys can leave you guys are going to leave Game Workshop in the fucking dust forget about it um perhaps if you guys can make some female models you'll give Raging Heroes a run for the money but until that time who's to know but you guys you guys are doing good work I, I was quite pleased I'm quite pleased with the end effort and uh yeah, if you, if you guys can do some samurai models, ooh, baby, forget about it. But yeah, Fireforge, you stepped up to the plate, and you knocked out of the park. Good job, guys. I'm I'm quite pleased. You got everyone in, 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 in y'all's company should be well proud of themselves. You really should. You guys did an excellent job on these models. And you know me, I don't, I don't fluff up people on purpose. I fluff them up when they deserve it. You guys deserve a little bit of fluffing up. So, well done. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hope, ho hope it's what you were hoping for or what y'all expected. And you guys did not fail. You did not fail. And I, you know, great job. Absolutely great job. Um, whatever, whatever you guys put out next, uh, if you feel brave enough, send it to me. And to all you other companies out there who want a real review, not some guy just powdering your butthole, by all means... Send me your models. Step up to the Guard Bro Miniatures Review Plate and I'll see what you got. And until I see you next time on this side of the veil in the next review, bat rep, or whatever else I may put out, this has been Guard Bro, and I'll see you next time.